Hey everybody, Joy66 coming at you once again. I know it's been a couple of days, uh, but I'm back and uh, let's talk about a Dodge Challenger convertible. What do you guys think? Okay guys, there is a uh, dealership in North Carolina called Keffer Dodge, which is um, offering Dodge Challenger convertibles. Now they are sending it off to an aftermarket company, of course, to have it converted into a convertible. Um, I personally am not a big fan of convertibles and I wouldn't be interested, but I thought maybe some of you guys might think this was an interesting thing and that uh, you might actually be interested in checking out this dealership if you were uh, maybe in the market for a Dodge Challenger convertible. Now this place doing the conversions is down in Florida and uh, Keffer Dodge North Carolina sends the cars down there. They've done a few of them now. They've done it in about two or three different colors, I believe, and they're offering these cars for about $60,000. So um, if you are at all interested in this, check out Keffer Dodge in North Carolina and you might give them a call. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about, uh, you know, convertible challengers and that they would be interested in one. I personally, like I said, I, I am not a big uh, convertible guy. For one thing, I'm very, very pale skinned and uh, I burn easily. So having the sun on me is uh, never a good thing. And I've driven a few convertibles in my life and that just really didn't see what the big deal was or really care for it that much. Um, but, you know, to each his own. And I think that's a, I think it's a cool thing that this dealership is doing. And uh, you know what, you might want to check that out. So I just thought I'd throw this at you guys and see what you thought of that. Now it looks like this conversion, it's around $60,000 for the car. It looks like they are doing mostly scat packs. And with the conversion and everything, it's running around um, 59, 60 and $61,000 depending on the, the car, I guess. But so, you know, so roughly 60 grand, you can get like a scat pack convertible. I'm sure that uh, these are probably gonna sell. There's some nice pictures here of them. And uh, you know, it doesn't look too bad for a convertible. I'm not, like I said, some cars I think look really bad in convertible, but uh, this actually looks pretty good. Now, from what I've read here, uh, doesn't uh, they don't really talk about how this affects the handling of the car. Of course, you know, we know it's not the greatest handling car to begin with. I think it handles very well for its size and everything. But um, you have to assume it's probably going to affect the handling some. And uh, But yeah, no word. Actually, I haven't actually tested it or anything like that on here. So um, that's a, something else. That, that's a consideration effect. But if you're someone who's really into the handling of a car, and uh, you know, racing the car and, and the handling, you're probably not going to want a convertible anyway. But if you just like cruising around and you're looking for a convertible, this might be a possibility for you. Of course, you know, you can get convertible Camaros, you can get convertible Mustangs and everything, but no Challenger, unless you do the aftermarket thing here from uh, Keffer Dodge down in North Carolina. There's also some rumors that the new, uh, whenever the new design for the Challenger comes out, that uh, they may do a, uh, you know, offer convertible from the factory at that point. But um, Currently, there doesn't seem to be any plans to uh, do anything with the uh, current platform and the current Challenger and make it into a convertible from the factory. But uh, like I said, rumors are that when the new one comes out, whenever that is, uh, that there will be a convertible option. But we shall see. That'll be something to watch out for. Now, Kevin Hellman, who is a uh, Dodge brand manager for Challenger, has talked a little bit about convertibles. And uh, he said that he's, uh, he's aware that these uh, aftermarket companies exist and that they are doing this. And uh, as far as one from the factory, at least under the current platform, like we just talked about, uh, that there would have to be a business case for it, for them to invest the money to do this and actually, you know, do the changes on the assembly line or whatever else was needed design-wise. And this would probably add weight to an already heavy car as well. Um, but anyway, um, this guy says that, uh, you know, that there'd have to be a business case for it. There'd have to be, it would have to be profitable enough for them to consider kind of revamping the current car to make it into a convertible. Uh, but like I said, rumors are the new one will be will have a convertible. So uh, yeah, we'll see. But uh, yeah, that was uh, Kevin Hellman, who is the uh, brand manager for Challenger. And so I'm sure most of you know this, but the roof on a car is a very integral part of the the structure of the car and the uh, the rigidity and the and the structure of the car. So when you remove that, you have to you have to make up for that by by changing a lot of other things in the car to keep the car solid and rigid and everything like it needs to be. And that's going to add a lot more weight than a roof would. So. Um, in an already very heavy car <laughs> that we all know, those of us who own these, or uh, if you really know anything about Challenger, you know they're, they're pretty damn heavy. But um, so, you know, like I said earlier, performance-wise, it's not wouldn't be a great thing. But if you're just looking for a cruiser and uh, you want to look cool, go down the road, and you're really into convertibles, you might want to check this out. So give me some comments down below, guys. What do you think of the convertible? Uh, what do you think of those pictures? Um, first, I think it looks pretty good as far as convertibles go. But like I said, I'm not really into them. But it looks all right. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, do you think it's worth 60 grand for a convertible scat pack? I don't know. Uh, and do you think when the new Dodge comes out, when the new Dodge Challenger does come out, whenever that may be, will there be a convertible option offered? I kind of have a feeling there will be. 
since I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit of a smaller, lighter car, so, and I kind of think that they're going to probably do a convertible. What do you think? Comment down below. I don't know if you can hear that in the background or not, but we got a pretty good storm going on out here. Just a couple lightning strikes close by, so, uh, yeah. Woo. <laughs> anyway, it kind of woke me up a little bit. I was getting a little drowsy there, but anyway. Uh, so what do you guys think about the convertible? And uh, let me know down below. I will talk to you soon, guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. Did you hear that? Uh, I'm going to get out of here now and show you a few more things in the video. I will be getting back to the viewer rides very soon. We'll get some more of those uh, in the next video probably. Um, and I will be around this weekend making videos. And, of course, we will do our Sunday night stream, which I did not get to this last Sunday. The first Sunday I've missed since, uh, I think, the first of the year. Um, some things happened. I just I just couldn't pull it off, guys. I really totally planned on doing it. And then as the last couple hours wound down, when it got time to go live, I just couldn't do it. So um, some personal things happened in my life. It, everything's fine or nothing. It's not a big deal now. But some things are going on. I couldn't just take off and go live. So... Uh, sometimes things happen in life as we all know so anyway hope you guys won't give up on my live streams because I missed one hope you'll be back and uh, I will see you then see you Sunday night at uh, you know 745 central time hopefully everybody will come and join and if you haven't already please subscribe so you don't miss any videos I'll try to get you more uh, Mopar news and stuff about my car and other people's cars I got some pretty cool videos in the works coming up and uh, you don't want to miss them so please subscribe and hit that little bell notification and please, lots of comments down below. Let's send me comments we can get going on this video, guys. Thank you very much. This is Joey66. Like I said, watch the rest of the video. Thank you very much. Enjoy.